Magic. Uh, you know, magic can be a tricky thing. I have to be clear. I am not actually a, ma a magician. I'm just not. I'm a witch. My, uh, my Hogwarts house, in case you were wondering, is Gryffindor. No big deal. I was pretty proud when I took the test. Several times. Bravery! Loyalty! Okay, I could astound you with my nerdism in that franchise. Love me some Harry Potter. Uh, anyways, um, you know, something about myself, I get nervous before I come on stage every single night. And, you know, this has happened since I was doing recitals at the age of six years old in front of like five other kids. I would just get petrify petrifyingly afraid. And it's something I've worked on through the years and I've realized if that fear, if I cannot take it out of myself in these 20 some odd years, I don't think it's ever going anywhere. I think it's a part of me. However, before I come on stage every single night, I fill myself with so much positivity that there is not really very much room left for the fear. And I do that by meditating, I do that by visualization, positive thinking, listening to music, and lots of praying every single night. I start about two hours before I come on stage and go through this routine. And really, I've realized, yes, I may not be able to take the fear out of me, but I can squish it out with positivity. And this is actually a way of looking at life that changed my life and in a way it saved my life because when I was in college I actually um, suffered from severe depression and anorexia and during this time I hated myself. I hated looking in the mirror because I hated everything that I saw looking back at me and no matter what I did I could not take this self-hatred out of myself. However, I started going to therapy and then I started going to group therapy and then I started reading books and basically listening to podcasts, just doing everything I could to strengthen my brain so I could learn to be happy again. Because we all deserve that. Everybody deserves to be happy. But I do think that sometimes, uh, you know, I had thought that maybe I was just born that way and I didn't have the ability to be like other people that seem so effortlessly happy. But it was actually just something that I had to train my brain how to think in a different way. And, you know, it was the whole concept, that same concept of rather than trying to take away the self-hatred, I basically suffocated it with self-love. And it changed my life. And suddenly, um, my mind started to believe the positive things that I told it. And I realized, I think I'm prone to depression. It's just a part of me. However, whenever I start to feel it coming back and trying to take over my life again, no, 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 not happening. I now have this, these tools that I've developed that I know how to choose happiness now and I am so grateful that that is now a choice that I can make because I'm a very different person today than I was 10 years ago and this next song is about that it's about finding the light in yourself and strengthening it because you cannot take darkness out of a dark room it's actually scientifically impossible however you can fill a room with light and we can all do that inside. Um, so as we play this next song, that's what it's about. It's called First Light. Um, hold on. Lumos Maximus. In other words, put your little flashlight thingies in the air. There we go. There. Turn on your little lights and let's fill this room with light. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, Lumos.